And we go right into our tail of the tape for this, the co-main event of the evening, as Chris mentioned. William Zapata, only 25 years old, but he will enjoy a six inch height advantage, but only a half inch reach advantage over Luis Vietas. 29, 11 and one, he is battle tested, he's ready to rock and wants to get this massive crowd behind him. 28th fight for Vietas here in his hometown of Tijuana. Zapata's told us yesterday, look, I know the crowd's gonna be behind him, but as the rounds go on and they see how great of a fighter I am and what I'm able to do to him, they're gonna start to cheer for me. Vietas is gonna have to fight him off. I mean, he's nine years older, six inches shorter, and he doesn't have the power to keep Zapata off for too long. I'll, I'll be curious if he can get out of these early rounds. 14 straight KOs for Zapata, who's in the blue. Vietas in the white and red. And the punch output of Zapata really is remarkable. He throws nearly 40 punches more per round than the average lightweight, 50 punches more per round than Luis Vietas. And you'll see the foot fighting, Southpaw versus Orthodox. And there's a slip in the corner. And that may have hurt his knee or groin. Vietas, <laughs> that's not the way you want to start. Just like to point out that that corner still has a whole lot of water in it. <laughs> they haven't really cleaned it up since it was a problem last fight. I think he's legit hurt, Sergio. That's the danger of having a corner that's that's wet like that. I mean, so you can slip, and whenever you're in the middle of action like that, you can really twist your knee or your ankle. He suffocates opponents with power and aggression, but never smothers himself. It's always, it's always straight power from that southpaw stance. And Zapata's a, a natural right-hander, so he has his power hand out front. Yeah, nothing looking good here for Vietas. Seems a little uncomfortable in more than one way. Well, Vietas has lost 11 times, been stopped, stopped six times. All six of those knockouts are before uh, the second round's over. So yeah, if he can get past the second round with a bus out like Cepeda, it'll mean a lot. The right hand on the inside. You could hear the, the sound of the punches, how heavy they are for Cepeda. Chris, how would you describe the style we're seeing here from Vaidas? A fighter trying not to get knocked out too early. Look, yeah. he's just kind of leaning in, tying up. He's not doing a lot that tells me he's trying to win. Just got clipped with a left hand there from Zapata. That caught him again. And that's what Vietas does. He put, picks his chin up in the air. It's only a matter of time before he gets clipped, pulling back like that. Zapata will time you. Zapata very humble. When uh, we asked him about his 14-fight win streak, he says, hey, I'm being honest here. I never look for the knockout. I just try and win, and the knockouts come, and there's a knockdown as Vietas goes down in a heap. It was a straight left hand straight to the chin of Vietas. Vietas complaining that he got hit on the way down. Vietas trying to touch gloves. He wants just to be friends. And he had his chin right up in the air. Well, now he's going to go out on his shield, it looks like. Hey, he landed a punch of his own. Vietas has awkward timing, and you could see that Zepeda's coming up a little short because he's having trouble with the timing right there. I'll agree with the awkward part. Very awkward upper body movement. I mean, the and they're going to call that a knockdown. What a turn of events. And I believe that's the first time he's ever gone down in his career. And how about that? That's a shove. I don't think that's a knockdown. No. This has been a very awkward fight every step of the way. Oh, and they're taking a point away from Zapata. Wow. 
So we've had two knockdowns in this round and a point taken away from Zapata. Try and score this round, Chris. And now he's in that slick area of the corner. You don't want to be over there. This ring's like an obstacle course. Viera is so unorthodox with his upper body movement, and that's what makes him hard to pin down and hit with something accurate. Whoa, and again he slips. It's like someone sprayed WD-40 over there. Someone's going to get hurt in that corner. Too much water. I've been saying it for two rounds now. Everyone sees the beta get dropped. It was a check left hook. It was a cuffing left hook. I'm not really sure it was a clean punch, but a knockdown is a knockdown. Let's see if Zapata turns up the heat here and just tries to get this guy out of there. Vieras is so awkward with his upper body movement, it'll serve Zapata right just to concentrate on the body and the chest, just like that right there. Get the upper body, upper body movement of Vieras from stop moving. And that is a knockdown. It's so hard to tell if they're knockdowns or slips. Well, here we go again. Not much behind those punches from Bofo Vietas. And a body shot. Oh, and he hit him while he was down. And that will do it. It is over. 15 straight KOs for El Camaro. That was a sloppy win, a sloppy fight, but he got the knockdown. Cepeda proves that his power continues to be real. Pushed him down right there, and then he hit him. And so here's just a flurry of activity going. Here's the knockdown when it's coming up. You see the flurry up top. Down he goes, and there's the shot. That was the knockout punch right there to the midsection. Nothing big connected on Vietas to put him down. Certainly nothing to the body. It was that late shot that put him down and kept him from getting up. So. What do you think should have happened in that situation if the referee clearly saw that shot that was late? Well, you saw, you see Vietas looking at the referee, talking to him right now, indicating that it was there. Look, it easily could have been ruled a disqualification. With a time of 1 minute 51 seconds in round number three, a referee reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, El Ganador por knockout, El Invicto, William Camarón Cepeda. So he just had an incredible fight two fights ago. What word would you sum up this fight, Chris? Sloppy. It was sloppy, and I, I said that uh, before the knockdown, but Zepeda got the job done, and, and it's, it's, it's hard to be look good against a fighter like Vieta's. He makes things so difficult, and he's one of these, these journeymen with a lot of experience that knows how to survive, doesn't really come to win or pressure or, or land big punches. He makes it ugly, and that's what it was.